Let's check the email, shall we? Please! Can you do a show on the reasons for sleeping? It crossed my mind today, and I wondered why we sleep, comma, in theory, comma. Your body always has an intake energy from food, so if we ate loads, we would not need sleep. Well done there, Lemon Drop. At least you're thinking. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Let's see what brilliant scientists think about that. Science confirms that you need sleep. Well done, science! Actually, it's slightly a little more complicated than that. You see, your brain is an intricate web of neurons neurotransmitter synapses. The synapses are firing and misfiring, relaying tiny little bits of information to each of each other's little friends. Now this delicate ballet of what appears to be an electrical storm in an fMRI machine indicates that when you'll use your, say, frontal lobe of speech, after a certain amount of time of use, this frontal lobe gets really tired of dealing with it. So it says, hey, neocortex, why don't you deal with speech a little bit? And your neocortex goes, well, I'm not usually used to dealing with speech, but yeah, okay, I'll deal with it. So it starts to go, <laughs> you start talking like a dinosaur, because that's the part of the brain that deals with dinosaur type stuff. Reflexes. <laughs> the visual area of the brain says, I can't deal with all these images anymore. Hey, speech, would you please deal with these visual images? And the speech goes, well, I'm not really used to dealing with visual stuff, but uh, I do enjoy taking photographs from time to time of the weekends with my children, so I might as well dabble in it. And at this point, you find yourself 24 hours into a drive across the United States. You look out to the left, and you see a giant glowing snake chasing your car. Now, what have we learned? Speech area of the brain cannot deal with the pictures, and the neocortex area of the brain cannot deal with the speech. That is what we've learned. After a certain amount of time, your entire brain goes, <laughs> Just make it stop! And you slip into a form of hysteria, temporary insanity, and you fall asleep. Cranium then gets filled with a liquid, which washes away all the bad things and tells everyone, look, you're the speech, you do speech, everything's gonna be fine, just take a little break. You're the, you're the eyesight, you just take a little break in the eyes, okay? You just think about whatever you want to think about. And it kind of mixes a little bit, you know, it kind of goes, oh, I want to think, I want to see this. And that's when you dream about unicorns fighting snakes and all kinds of wild things like that. Yeah. Now, final summation. You need sleep so that your brain can assign the jobs of its parts to the parts that need to do the jobs of the parts of the brain that do the jobs for the parts of the thing. What's going on with me? I think I need a nap. I'll see you, tasty little lemon drops, tomorrow. Where we continue our important work.